Hey there. Ever had one of those days where it feels like life's throwing a whole pile of lemons your way and you're fresh out of sugar for lemonade? Yeah, we've all been there. Whether it's battling sickness, wrestling with financial woes, or finding ourselves knee-deep in relationship dramas, it can feel like we're stuck in a never-ending obstacle course. But guess what? I've got some good news for you. Right here, right now. I'm about to let you in on a little secret. A secret that has the power to turn those lemons into lemonade and clear the way for a brighter tomorrow. So, buckle up and get ready, because we're about to embark on a journey into the transformative realm of seeking forgiveness from the Almighty. Trust me, this is one ride you won't want to miss. Let's dive a bit deeper into the murky waters of bad karma. Imagine it like a relentless rain cloud following us around, dripping negativity with every step we take. It's not just about the big stuff, either. Those little slips and stumbles, the moments where we choose anger over understanding or selfishness over generosity, they all contribute to the looming shadow of bad karma. You know how they say, what goes around comes around. Well, that's karma's way of saying, hey, remember me? Whether we realize it or not, every action, every thought, sends ripples out into the universe, shaping the energy around us. And when those ripples come back to us, they're not always gentle waves. Sometimes they're more like tidal waves, crashing down on us with the force of a freight train. Now, let's talk about the fallout. Bad karma doesn't discriminate. It hits us where it hurts the most. Feeling run down and exhausted all the time? That could be bad karma's way of saying, slow down, buddy, you're burning the candle at both ends. Struggling to make ends meet? Bad karma might be whispering. Maybe it's time to reassess your priorities. And don't even get me started on relationships. Bad karma has a knack for turning even the sweetest romance sour. But here's the thing. Bad karma doesn't have to be a life sentence. Sure, we've made mistakes, we've stumbled, we've fallen flat on our faces more times than we care to count. But that doesn't mean we're doomed to repeat the same patterns forever. With a little bit of self-reflection, a sprinkle of humility, and a whole lot of forgiveness, we can start chipping away at that wall of bad karma, one brick at a time. So, if you're feeling weighed down by the burdens of bad karma, take heart, there's light at the end of the tunnel. It might take some time, it might take some effort, but trust me when I say this, the journey to clearing your karmic slate is worth every step. Alright, let's dive a little deeper into the pool of forgiveness. Imagine forgiveness as this giant eraser that you can use to wipe away all the marks and smudges on the canvas of your life. It's not just about making things right with others or seeking absolution from a higher power. It's about giving yourself permission to let go of the past and move forward with a lighter heart. When we seek forgiveness from God, it's like sending out a signal flare into the universe, saying, Hey, I'm ready to make amends and start fresh. And guess what? The universe responds in kind, showering us with grace and mercy, like a warm ray of sunlight breaking through the clouds after a storm. Think of it like this. You know how sometimes your computer gets all glitchy and slow, and the only way to fix it is to hit the reset button? Well, forgiveness is like hitting the reset button for your soul. It wipes away all the junk cluttering up your internal hard drive and gives you a clean slate to work with. So, if you've been feeling weighed down by guilt or shame, if you've been carrying around a backpack full of regrets and mistakes, now's the time to let it all go. Take a deep breath, close your eyes, and let the power of forgiveness wash over you like a warm, soothing wave. Because when you do, you're not just freeing yourself from the past, you're opening up a world of possibilities for the future. And trust me, there's nothing more liberating than that. Let's delve a bit deeper into this idea of roadblocks and karma. Picture your life as a highway, full of twists and turns, ups and downs. Sometimes, though, it feels like you're stuck in traffic, and no matter how hard you press on the gas, you just can't seem to move forward. That's when you know you've hit a roadblock. Now, these roadblocks aren't just there by chance. They're the result of all the negative energy we've accumulated along the way. Every time we hold on to anger, resentment, or guilt, we're essentially laying down another brick in the wall that stands between us and our dreams. But here's where things get interesting. When we muster up the courage to seek forgiveness, it's like taking a sledgehammer to that wall and watching it crumble to the ground. Suddenly, the path ahead is clear, and you can practically feel the rush of energy as abundance comes flooding into your life. It's like cleaning out your closet. Sure, it might be a bit of a hassle at first, but once you get rid of all those old clothes you never wear, you're left with space for new exciting opportunities to come in. By seeking forgiveness, we're not just tidying up our spiritual space, we're making room for prosperity, joy, and fulfillment to take root and flourish. So, the next time you find yourself stuck in traffic on the highway of life, 
don't despair. Take a moment to reflect on the energy you're putting out into the world, and if it's not serving you, let it go. Clear away those roadblocks, pave the way for abundance, and get ready to cruise towards your dreams with the wind in your hair and a smile on your face. Trust me, the journey is worth it. Let's roll up our sleeves and get down to business. When it comes to seeking forgiveness, it's not just about saying the right words. It's about putting those words into action and letting your intentions shine through like a beacon in the night. So, here's a nifty little trick to add some oomph to your forgiveness game. Forgiveness affirmations. Now, I know what you're thinking. Affirmations sound all fancy and, but trust me, they're simpler than you think. Here's how it works. Find yourself a cozy little nook where you can be alone with your thoughts. Maybe it's your favorite spot in the park, or just a quiet corner of your bedroom. Close your eyes, take a deep breath, and repeat a simple phrase like, I ask for forgiveness and release all negative energy, or, I am open to receiving forgiveness and love. Now, here's the kicker. The more you say it, the more powerful it becomes. It's like planting a seed in the fertile soil of your soul and watching it grow into a beautiful flower of forgiveness. So, pick a time of day. Maybe it's first thing in the morning or right before bed and make it a habit to spend a few minutes repeating your forgiveness affirmation with focus and intention. And here's the best part. As you say your affirmation, imagine a warm, golden light surrounding you, filling you with a sense of peace and clarity. Feel the weight of your burdens lifting off your shoulders, replaced by a lightness of being that's as refreshing as a cool breeze on a hot summer day. So, the next time you find yourself wrestling with guilt or shame, don't just sit there and stew in your own negativity. Take a moment to practice your forgiveness affirmation and watch as the power of forgiveness works its magic in your life. Trust me, you'll be amazed at the results. Let's paint a vivid picture of your ideal forgiveness sanctuary. Close your eyes and imagine stepping into your personal oasis of tranquility. Maybe it's a cozy corner in your home where soft sunlight filters through the curtains and casts a warm glow over everything it touches. You sink into a plush armchair, surrounded by your favorite books and comforting knickknacks, feeling like you've found your own little slice of heaven right here on earth. Or perhaps your forgiveness haven lies outdoors, beneath the sprawling branches of an ancient oak tree in your local park. You find a secluded spot where the grass is soft beneath your feet, and the only sounds are the gentle rustle of leaves and the distant hum of life going on around you. You breathe in the crisp, fresh air, feeling a sense of peace wash over you like a soothing balm for your soul. But maybe, just maybe, your sanctuary is a room of your own creation, a quiet, dimly lit space where you can escape from the chaos of the world and retreat into the depths of your own mind. You light a scented candle, filling the air with the calming scent of lavender or sandalwood, and settle onto a plush meditation cushion, ready to delve into the depths of your innermost thoughts and emotions. Wherever your forgiveness sanctuary may be, the key is to create an environment that's free from distractions, where you can fully immerse yourself in your spiritual practice. So, take a moment to envision your perfect space, and when you're ready, step into it with an open heart and a clear mind. The journey to forgiveness begins here, in this sacred space you've carved out for yourself. Now that you've found your own little slice of serenity, it's time to roll up your sleeves and get down to the nitty-gritty of forgiveness. And guess what? You don't need any fancy tools or special skills, just your own voice and an open heart. Start by picking a forgiveness affirmation that speaks to your soul, like, I ask for forgiveness and release all negative energy. Keep it simple yet powerful, like a gentle breeze that whispers peace into your heart. Once you've chosen your mantra, it's time to let it flow. Repeat the affirmation aloud, letting each word roll off your tongue like a sweet melody. Feel the vibrations reverberate through your body, filling you with a sense of calm and clarity. If speaking out loud isn't your thing, no worries. Simply whisper the words softly to yourself or let them echo in the quiet chambers of your mind. As you repeat the affirmation, let each word sink in like a stone dropping into a still pond, sending ripples of healing energy out into the universe. Focus on the meaning behind the words, allowing them to penetrate deep into your subconscious and work their magic on your soul. And here's the best part. There's no right or wrong way to do this. Whether you're sitting cross-legged on the floor, lounging on your favorite couch, or taking a leisurely stroll through the park, the power of forgiveness is always within reach. So, take a deep breath, summon your courage, and let the healing begin. You've got this. Now, let's add a sprinkle of magic to your forgiveness practice. Close your eyes and let your imagination run wild, like a playful puppy chasing after a butterfly. Picture yourself bathed in a soft, radiant light. It's like stepping into a sunbeam on a crisp spring morning, warm and inviting. 
As you bask in the glow of this luminous light, feel it seeping into every fiber of your being, melting away the tension and worry that's been weighing you down. It's like dipping into a pool of liquid gold, enveloping you in a cocoon of warmth and purity. Now, here comes the fun part. Visualize the power of forgiveness as a gentle wave, washing over you with each repetition of the affirmation. Feel it lapping at your feet, swirling around your ankles, and gradually rising higher and higher until it covers you completely. It's like being swept away by a tide of love and compassion, cleansing away all traces of negativity and bad karma in its wake. As you surrender to the ebb and flow of this divine energy, feel your burdens lifting, your heart growing lighter with each breath. It's like shedding layers of heavy armor, revealing the true essence of who you are, pure, unbridled, and infinitely deserving of forgiveness. So, let your imagination soar, my friend, and let the power of forgiveness work its magic on your soul. Trust in the process, and know that with each visualization, you're one step closer to a brighter, more abundant future. You've got this. Let's talk about the ripple effect of forgiveness, because trust me, it's a game changer. Forgiveness isn't just a one-way street where you ask for pardon and call it a day. No, sir. It's a two-way ticket to a better world for you and everyone around you. Think of it like this. When you forgive, you're not just wiping your own slate clean. You're also setting off a chain reaction of kindness and positivity that reverberates far and wide. It's like tossing a pebble into a pond and watching the ripples spread out in all directions, touching everything in their path. One of the most powerful ways to keep those ripples going is through acts of service and kindness. It doesn't have to be anything grand or earth-shattering. Even the smallest gestures can make a world of difference. Maybe it's feeding stray animals in your neighborhood, spreading a little love and nourishment to those who need it most. Or perhaps it's reaching out to an old friend who's been feeling lonely and forgotten, reminding them that they're not alone in this crazy world. And let's not forget about the power of simply being there for your loved ones. Sometimes, all it takes is a listening ear or a shoulder to lean on to make someone's day just a little bit brighter. So, take a moment to check in with those you care about, to let them know they're loved and appreciated. Trust me, it'll mean the world to them. By spreading positivity and goodwill in this way, you're not just clearing your own karmic slate. You're also sowing the seeds for a brighter, more abundant future for yourself and everyone around you. So, go ahead. Let your kindness be the light that guides others out of the darkness. You never know just how far those ripples of forgiveness might reach. All right, folks, we've reached the end of our forgiveness journey. But guess what? It's just the beginning of something incredible. You've got all the tools you need, from forgiveness affirmations to acts of kindness, to pave your own path to a life filled with abundance and blessings. So here's the deal. Every step you take, every word you speak, has the power to shape your destiny. Whether you're whispering forgiveness affirmations in your cozy sanctuary or lending a helping hand to someone in need, you're actively molding the future you want to see. And here's the kicker. You don't have to wait for some magical sign or perfect moment to start. The time is now, my friend. Right here, right now, you have the power to transform your life into something truly extraordinary. So why wait? Why put off until tomorrow what you can do today? Start your journey towards forgiveness, abundance, and blessings right this very moment. Take that first step and watch as the universe opens its arms to welcome you with open arms. Believe me when I say this, the road ahead may be long and winding, but with forgiveness as your compass and kindness as your guide, there's nothing you can't achieve. So go ahead, my friend, seize the day, grab hold of your dreams, and let the magic of forgiveness lead you to a life beyond your wildest imagination. Your journey starts now.